Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland for Shimmers Paints um, and just before we start I have recently lost my Instagram account and my Facebook account so I have a new Instagram account you can find me at at Nikki Claire Creates. Um, so yeah I am uh, creating for Shimmers Paints today and I'm using this lovely uh, rainbow cut file that was part of the April colour kits. It's available to purchase in the store. Um, we um, I'm, I've cut this um, three times on my silhouette machine, so I've used um, uh, I've cut it in three different sizes, so a small, a medium, and a large. And you can see that at the moment it's all still on my mat. Um, I've taken it all off now, and I'm just arranging it onto my uh, background, so I know roughly what I'm going to do. So I plan to stagger the rainbows, so they're going to be. Um, three on the page, uh, from small at the top to large at the bottom, um, but I w and I'm going to paint them. Um, but I want something in the background, I don't want just a plain white piece of cardstock because that's boring, um, so I thought I'd put some um, light colours on the background just to um, make my background slightly more interesting. So I'm using the packaging technique and I've gone for two really light coloured um, paints. Uh, I've gone for Meet Me at Sunset which is an Inklings, that's the yellow colour and then I'm going for a really pale pink one which is called First Blush and that is also an Inklings. I will list them um, all down below because I've used quite a lot today because uh, I'm using a lot for the rainbow. Um, but they are the two colours that I've used for the background. So I just literally wanted my background to have some colour on it, um, just not to be stark plain white. So that's what I'm doing and I'm aiming for a vertical design uh, from top to bottom. Um, I'm using the packaging technique and my paintbrush to manipulate the colour and get it in the places that I want it. Um, so I'm just um, yeah applying with the, with the packaging technique, adding water, adding more paints, smushing some more. Uh, I'm now um, adding some uh, splatters as well in both um, of the same colours. Um, I'm not too worried about the colours mixing together because then I'll get a nice kind of peachy orangey colour um, but um, I'm not too bothered about that whether I get that or not. Um, so I just wanted to have some pale colour going on in my background so that I can then put my rainbow on top. Um, so you can see how I'm arranging the rainbow there. I'm going to um, get that stuck in place before I paint. Um, there's a reason for that um, because I have my dry on, uh, foam pads um, and I'm going to paint them once they're on my layout. So you'll see that once I've got my whole of my um, all of my rainbows in place, um, then I will start painting. Um, the reason for that is because when they are raised on foam pads, they're really easy to paint uh, because they are away from the surface of the paper. Um, it means that I have a gap between my piece of piece that I'm painting, so the cut file, and the background. So I'm very unlikely to. Um, touch the background with my paintbrush. So I find anything that's raised on foam pads <coughs> is far easier to paint um, than anything that's stuck flat. So um, that's why I do it like that and that is exactly what I'm going to do today. So you can see that I'm spending some time getting my rainbows stuck in place with foam pads and I have done that there rather than make you watch me uh, take all the backs off of these foam pads. Um, so my rainbow is in place so now I'm going to aim for um, I'm going to paint them. So I'm going aiming for dark colours at the bottom moving up to light ones towards the top. So these rainbows only have three stripes each um, so with Oh, times three, uh, that makes nine. Um, so that's too many colours for a rainbow. So I'm getting creative with exactly which colours it is I'm going to use. So the lower rainbow, the bottom one, I'm got, going to use a really dark purple uh, for the first one, get to a lighter purple, and then move on to a teal. Um, so the three colours that I have used there are um, Honeymoon, Inklings, Purple, Peony, Creamies, and then Lapis Dance, creamies, that's the teal colour. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the blues. So I'm going to do blues and greens on the second one. Um, but just um, for now, you can see that uh, my um, rainbow, I haven't painted all the way to the left and that's because I'm going to put my photos there. Um, so I have already left my paints uh, sitting with some water in them so they are all nicely dissolved a little bit on the surface which means I have a nice rich paint for each colour. 
Um, I've uh, I got all my paints out earlier, um, but then as I was going through, I realised that I would be uh, one colour short for my rainbows, so I went and found a pale blue, um, and uh, that one is called um, Frosty Buns, and it's an Inklings, and that's the one I'm putting on right now. Um, and then I move on to um, Blue Lagoon, which is um, a uh, kind of tealy green. Um, and then moving on to um, Lettuce Get Together Creamies, uh, which is a, um, a lovely green color, kind of like a lime green almost. It's one of my favorite greens. Um, so that's the top of that, that's going to be the top of that uh, second rainbow. Um, I've also got the hearts to paint but I'm going to come back to those later. At this point in time I didn't know what I wanted to do with them. I thought I might go for an accent colour um, but in the end I decided to go for um, the darkest colour on each rainbow I think. Um, no I didn't quite stick to that formula <laughs> but uh, um, <clears throat> I picked a colour from each rainbow and coloured my um, hearts in with those. So for the top rainbow I'm using um, daffodil yellow which is a bright yellow for the lowest um, strip and then good old summertime which is like a ready colour and then I've gone to first blush again that was for the uh, top one so that's an inklings um, and uh, that's the one I use for my background as well so the um, two colours in the background um, I've only used one of those on my rainbow the pink one, the first blush. It's a really lovely, very pale pink. It's a really pretty colour to work with, very subtle and lovely. Um, so that's my rainbows painted. Um, I've still got to deal with the heart. So here I am uh, picking a colour from each rainbow to um, colour the hearts with. So for this one I've used first blush. Um, and then for the blue one I'm going to use um, Frosty Buns, which is the nice light blue, uh, blue colour. So um, I felt that my uh, first rung of my rainbow um, uh, on the middle was a bit light so I gave it a second coat of Frosty Buns um, and then did the hearts as well. I think when I first painted Frosty Buns, because it hadn't been sitting in water for very long, um, it um, wasn't as rich as it could have been. So now it's been sat with some water in it for a while, it's nice and rich. Um, and really good for painting with. Okay, so then the bottom one, the lower rainbow, the lowest rainbow, I've gone for the darkest purple. It looks really dark on the video, but actually it's not at all. It's a lovely purple, um, and uh, that's Honeymoon Inklings. Um, so I've done that heart in that color too. Um, obviously covering up the other side of the purple rainbow with my photos. Um, so uh, I didn't paint all of that, and I didn't paint the heart either. So while that's drying, which will, will not take long to dry at all, um, I won't use my heat tool um, for this. Um, while that's drying, I am going to focus on the uh, rest of my layout. So I have this sheet of Paige Evans Bloom Street paper with all those swatches on with lots of words. I've had it for a while um, and uh, I haven't managed to use it. I've looked at it several times. I've cut bits out of one, I had two sheets, so I've cut bits out of one sheet. Um, but not actually managed to use it for anything. And the B side is lovely, but because the colours um, are gorgeous on the other side, on the A side with all the, the um, tabs on or the swatches on, um, I really wanted to use it, but I just ha it just hasn't worked in, in everything that I've tried to do before. So I'm gonna make it work this time. So first of all, I'm going through and I'm cutting out a load of the phrases um, to go on my rainbows. Um, so there, I start. I'm, I'm aiming for colour on colour. So I'm aiming for three kind of uh, dark blue or purple ones on the bottom, uh, three um, blue and green ones for the middle, and then a yellow and some pinks for the top one. Uh, so that's what I'm aiming for. You can see I've layered those um, out, and they uh, are looking okay. Um, they're actually a bit fat. Um, so the um, phrases themselves in their original form are too wide. So I'm just trimming them down, I'm using my scissors to do this, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to distress the edges of all of those as well. And then I'm going to stick them at various points onto the rainbows. Um, I also want to make a feature um, out of these tabs uh, on the sides of my layout, um, and uh, you shall see what I do with that in a moment. Um, but at the moment I'm still trimming those phrases. Um, I love how they look, they're really cute. Um, the top three say, capture beauty, love grows here and dance in the rain. 
Um, the middle ones say, how's it growing? Chasing rainbows, fun memories. And the one at the bottom say, rise and shine, everyday magic, make time for joy. So they all work, they're all lovely sayings. Um, Paige really has a lovely way with words and phrases. Um, they're not too over the top, they're not um, too gushy, they're just lovely. Um, okay, so you can see that I cut out a load of my tabs and I've arranged them over the sides of my layouts and I've done those in colour order. So I've literally done two lines, I've kept them at the normal width and I've attached them to the sides of my layout and I've stitched through them with some white thread uh, and a zigzag stitch too. Um, so I've distressed the edges of all of those as well, um, but it was really boring to watch. Um, I actually cut a big chunk out of this video because I was there for like 40 minutes or something doing just those side pieces. <laughs> so um, you're lucky you didn't have to watch all of that. But that's what I did. I cut them out, I arranged them in colour order, um, I distressed the edges and I stuck them down and then I added stitching as well. Um, so now I'm just going to do with my photos, um, I'm just going to mount them both onto some uh, purple cardstock. Um, it's just plain cardstock, so rather than use um, pattern paper this time, I've gone for plain cardstock, which is not something I do that often actually. Um, I normally like to have patterns behind my photos, but on this occasion the purple works really well um, because I um, have purple at the bottom of my layout, so I wanted to keep everything at the bottom um, in that purple shade or shades of purple. Uh, so I've mounted them both onto purple cardstock or lilac cardstock more like um, and I got one of the dots uh, from one of the uh, packs um, and it's kind of a purpley colour, I'm going to put it at the bottom there, it says my heart um, and I have another one as well which has a heart on it and it's kind of like a very light bluey uh, grey colour um, so with a heart on it so that's going on too. Um, I also have some fab acrylics uh, by a company called Bravel Fox who are in the UK and um, they uh, went so well with this layout. I hadn't intended to, hadn't set out to use them on this at all um, but I was just reaching around looking for some bits and I found these by Bravel Fox and they're just brilliant. <clears throat> so I have three white clouds, one is an open cloud and two um, are, well one is solid and the other one is solid but with raindrops cut out of it and then the sun which sits perfectly on one of the clouds. So that worked so well with this um, layout and the rainbow and the colours um, so I was really happy um, with with how that turned out, that was like a happy accident really. Um, and I've um, added some embellishments to the bottom left of my photo so I've added a butterfly and some flowers and a camera um, and that's it really, um, plus some gold thread. Um, that was, I, I wanted to keep all my embellishments um, purple down there because that section of the layout is purple and I'm kind of going for a colour on the colour theme here. Um, and now I need to deal with my title. So I got to this point and I was like, oh, I've got no to put my title. I do this a lot and I should have learned by, my lesson by now um, that really titles, especially big ones, need to go on early uh, before I fill up the rest of the page with all of my embellishments and photos. And so um, <clears throat> I have uh, managed to make it work. I want to use the phrase, make your own rainbows. Um, so I have pulled out those really cute um, rainbow tiny alphas by Pinkfresh Studio, noteworthy collection, and I could only make rainbows out of those, I couldn't make make your own. So rainbows is in multicolored letters, and that's a, a over the bottom rainbow, and then the top two are thickers by Amy Tangerine, um, and they are really cute actually, and small, which is really good, I love small thickers, they, they work so well. Um, and I, there's a set that had white and blue glitter. So the white ones I've got make your um, in the white and then on the next rainbow down own and that worked really well because of course it's blue. Um, and then rainbows is in the multicolored. So make your own rainbows works really well. And I'm just um, writing in my journaling <clears throat> inside the rainbow there. Um, it reads, you are so sad that school is closed and that you can't see your friends or perform in your school play, but you are being brave and getting on with it and looking forward to the day things are normal again. Keep smiling, sweetie. Um, okay, so that is me done. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Uh, don't forget that if you place an order via the Shimmer store, enter my name in the comments to receive a freebie. Um, okay, that was Nikki Rowland for Shimmer's Paints. Happy scrapping.